all Southern woman. Hope you're having a blessed day already. I am running late. I have already been out of the house this morning and gotten back. Um, and I wanted you guys to know where I've been. Uh, yesterday was a wild day, and but I did get Bible study done at least. And today, I have to say that I'm not sh sh I'm not really prepared. We may read through it, but it's out of the Song of Solomon, and I haven't edited it. And I haven't even read it. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't. So um, we'll see that. I have been to the dentist office this morning. And that is where I have been. And that's why I'm running late. Um, before about, I guess, two to three months ago, I never gave you a time for Bible study. Because my life is just like this most of the time. And I just never know for sure um, what time I'm going to be on. I try to come on at 930, but there's times when I just can't. And when they made this appointment, I knew that it was going to conflict Bible study. And I even thought about doing a pre-recording, but I don't like to pre-record anything. If, I, if I'm if i live, I like to be live, especially for Bible study. Um, I got big news today, though. Um, well, I had my teeth cleaned. They did a good job, so my mouth tastes like fluoride. My teeth are kind of pink looking because of the fluoride they put on them and me and Chris have a lot of video we do today so I'm hoping that it doesn't look too crazy for my videos um I am looking right quick to make sure everything's coming in clear it looks good there it looks good here all right we got big news our article finally came out in the paper, um, and it's so funny. It's really kind of ironic, the fact that I've been to the dentist today, and my teeth look pink, because in the paper, on the front cover is our picture, and my teeth are red. And Chris said, well, it's a paper. Well, I mean, my goodness, I was in a newspaper when I graduated from college, and it was a beautiful picture of me. And uh, this one's a little pixelated. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, but anyway, it's cool that we made the front cover, right? I've never been in a paper before except one time when we were going to be on that family food fight. Uh, we were in a paper. But this one um, is our local Tribune in Georgia, and I actually have a subscription to it. And they have us on the front page today which is kind of cool. Um, and it says Chris and Tammy Nichols. This is what it says underneath the picture. Chris and Tammy Nichols have gained an impressive online following just by filming what they love to do, cooking great food, worshiping God, and enjoying the coastal Georgia lifestyle. That sounds good, don't it? I'm not going to read the whole article to you. Um, I haven't even read the whole article yet because I'm running late this morning. Um, Chris, I told him while I was going, because today is a video day. I have not done any videos all week. And I said, we every day I've gotten up with that as a goal. Yesterday, when the cleaning lady came, instead of four people, and they're usually in and out quick, it was one person. And so it took most of the day. And by the time she left and I got back home from doing chores, my neck was hurting and I didn't get anything cooked. So this morning I get up. I'm ready to get ready for a Bible study. I'm ready to cook. <clears throat> and then I see I had a dentist appointment at nine o'clock. Don't that just figure? I don't know what the deal is. Um, but so I still haven't got to cook. And uh, me and Chris are going to start doing a few appetizers today. And that's what we're going to do. I uh, had a really good day yesterday. I actually got a gift in the mail and it came from the UK. How sweet is that? Um, and to tell you the truth, I will to be real with you guys. I had a message yesterday from a viewer that watches a lot, and it was very unpleasant. Um, it was not very nice, and um, I, I really don't know why she felt like she did. But apparently, uh, she has a hard time with me monetizing Real Southern Woman. Now, if you've been watching for a while, I didn't have the ads turned on during the show, but I have turned them back on. And the reason I've turned them back on is because we send out cancer journals every month. And 
to be real with you guys, I want to tell you how much money, uh, not much, I can tell you that, YouTube. Because November just ended and we made $349, which is good. We don't normally make that much. The revenue is up a little bit because it's Christmas time. Um, and that's all we've made in a month. Okay. And we pay $240 for a lady's personal care that comes into her home. And we also send out cancer journals. And I counted the journals in the last three months. We've sent out 12. So we're averaging about four journals a month. And they're $50 a piece. And so I just want you to know that I'm not making a lot of money monetizing Real Southern Women. We don't have a lot of viewers. Um, but I do make enough to do those two things that I like to do. Send cancer journals and take care of that elderly lady that I tell y'all about. And I do. And and I'm not bragging or nothing, but we do other things for people all the time. And so um, if you feel like that because the Rural Southern Woman is monetized, that it is not where it should be uh, in my heart of hearts, then can I just say you're wrong? Everybody that works for the Lord um, does get paid. The majority of people. Um, and. I just want you to know that it doesn't cost you a penny. I don't ask you to give me money. All you have to do is watch a video or watch a ad. And most of the time you could even skip them. And so um, on Facebook, I'm not monetized yet, but I do want to be because as the, as the channel grows, the more journals will be sending out and they're blessings for people. And uh, just thought I'd throw that in. Chris was like, oh, my goodness, don't they realize that uh, other people get paid that does, does the work of the Lord? And like I said, I don't beg y'all for money, of course. All you got to do is watch an ad and it doesn't cost you a penny. So I'm hoping that if you are on here and you know who you are that left the message, uh, you have a change of heart because that has nothing to do with my um, heart for God. If it, it, and Chris even said yesterday. Um, if you have a way to make money, and there's even a story in the Bible about this, where um, the, Chris, what's the story in the Bible where the uh, men get the token, you know, like they get, they get money, three different ones, and they do different things with it. It's one of the parables, and um, where the three men get different wages and I haven't looked it up y'all I haven't had time um and some of them invest it some of them do something with it and one person buried it okay and even that is an example of how um you should be smart and um use your mind and, and use your time wisely and if there's a way for you to monetize or make some money why not do it uh, especially if you're going to use it for the Lord now um also, if you've been watching me long enough, you know my heart and you know I have a giving heart. Um, and I'm not being mean to you guys that don't feel this way. Don't take it the wrong way. But I thought I'd bring it up today because it wasn't the only person that mentioned us having an advertisement um, on the show. And I just want to let you know that there, it's God's money. You know, and if we make a little bit, we're going to use it wisely, I promise. Uh, we're not getting rich on Real Southern Woman, let me just tell you that. <laughs> um, that's for sure. And matter of fact, it is uh, really a ministry. And I don't mind showing y'all what we make on it and what we what we send out, if that's something that you guys would like. All you got to do is send me an email and I'll send it to you. Um, and it doesn't bother me to have to do it either. I mean, I understand. I go to church and that we tithe and we give. and um, But now we actually take our own money and give it to the church. Some of you do give me money through uh, Facebook with the uh, coin, the, I forget what they're called, stars. And I appreciate that too. I haven't looked to see how much money we made on stars. I could look and do that too um, while we're on here. Let's see. If I can find it. Uh, 
Okay. We made $51.65 on Facebook. And thank you if you are sending stars. That is enough to purchase one cancer journal and send it out to somebody special. And so I thank you for sending stars. I'm telling you, um, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Okay. Uh, just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, so we've been to the dentist. My mouth tastes like fluoride. It's really nasty, really. Um, Debbie says I'm, I'm uh, coming in and out. Debbie, I don't know if that's your internet or everybody's, but it seems to look good on my side. And um, But let me tell you what, how good God is, all right? After I got that email, and I'm not going to lie, I shouldn't let things like that bother me, but it did. And I was in the car yesterday, and I was quite emotional, and um, things just wouldn't go in right, you know, and the lady showed up. And I know you probably y'all probably thinking, you're just old rotten. You know, you got somebody to clean your house, and you're going to complain because they only sent one person. Well, it was just the fact that physically, um, I have not felt like cooking. And I'm going to be honest with y'all, I have not cooked and did a video, period, since before we left for Thanksgiving. The, the cherry pie that I posted on Sunday was a pre-recorded and I edited it. I've not been in the kitchen in probably seven days. Now I've cooked a few little things for me and Chris, but nothing to the extent that I would video it. Um, I haven't felt good. It has been a rough week for me physically. And um, so I was just having a really hard day yesterday because I had planned to cook and I have to cook in the morning or I'm not any good. So I can't stay on here too long today because I need to get in there and start cooking before I start feeling bad. But anyway, um, God is so good. And let me tell you why. He knew the day I was going to have. He knew, I'm sure, that I would get the email. Uh, and he knew how my heart would feel. And so when I went to the post office, I was killing some time because she was in here cleaning the house. And I went to the post office and I got the most beautiful gift. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. Um, I don't always do this, but when I opened it, I cried and it touched my heart so much because I knew this is uh, this is how when you're close to the Lord and you know how he works in your life. I knew he sent it and I knew he sent it on that day to make me feel better. And it, and it blessed my heart even more. But what blessed my heart was who sent it to me. All right. And I'm what she did for me. Y'all are not going to believe it. So let me grab it and I'm going to show it to y'all. And I am not going to do Bible study today because I really have to get in the kitchen this morning. I am sorry. And I'm not putting God on the back burner. I promise I'll read it. But physically, I've got to get in there while I can this morning um, because I have a lot of issues. My my neck and stuff is really bad from me having to stop that ibuprofen and stuff for a week. And so let me grab this and show it to you guys. First of all, when I got it, um, it was in this bag. And I didn't even notice it until I got in the car. I had to sign. I had to give them the piece of slip for it. And then when I got in the car, it says Royal Mail. <laughs> now, I know this is kind of goofy. Some of y'all probably think I'm kind of goofy. But, you know, Royal Mail, it's coming from the UK. It's in an international package. But from the day I was having, for it to say Royal Mail, of course, you know who I think is Royal, the Lord God and Jesus Christ. And so when, I, when I got the package, I was like, oh, my goodness, this is Royal Mail. It's international. And um, I started to cheer up a little bit on the inside. And then I got home, and when I opened it, I had to take the packaging off, and it was in this box, and I got a letter, and I read the letter before I opened the package, and I could not see it at that time. The letter is beautiful, and, I, and it's a personal letter, so I'm not going to tell you all about this lady, but I can tell you she said that she grew up without a real mom. Uh, she was adopted, and apparently her relationship with her adopted parents weren't that special, okay? And um, 
she went to college and she got a catering. Uh, she did a catering course and she passed it. And she talked about how she enjoyed cooking. And then she talks about her being in an accident and she was on a horse. Okay. And um, she shattered her pelvis and she wound up having three surgeries and the last one didn't go well at all. And she's bedridden. Okay. When I read that, I thought, you know what? I'm having a bad day. But this is somebody that God has laid it on their heart to send me something special that's actually bedridden. And what a blessing to know that she stitched this, cross-stitch. And as she was cross-stitching this, she was thinking, of who she was cross-stitching it for. And then it come on with such a special day for me to cheer me up. What a blessing. Is that not unbelievable? Um, and let's see if she tells how many years. She's bed bound 24-7. But even there, y'all, she talks so much about her life, about her, about her children. Um, she sent us a Christmas card and she has fibromyalgia and some things. And can I just say, God is good. God is so good. And he works behind the scenes when you don't even know it. Just like we talked about yesterday. Um, even if something bad is happening, sometimes it's for a reason, but I want you to look how beautiful this is. Now it's going to be backwards because my, my picture is backwards. But she used my favorite color orange. She knows what my favorite color is. And every letter has a image um, with the letter. So the C has a mixing. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can hold it so that it's not glaring. The C has, let me see if I can do it this way because it's so pretty. So you can see there's a pie, a cake on a cake stand, a spoon, pitchers, a tea kettle, and jam. The different letters, there's a bowl of fruit, a coffee, press. Isn't that just beautiful? And her name is Ann Shepherd. So I'm going to end today's Bible study saying that we just never know what day is going to bring what, whether it's a dark time or a joyful time. And some days actually bring dark and joyful at the same time, just like my day yesterday. I was high up on a mountain, brought down low, and then brought way up high even further later that day. So you just never know. But you know what? Um, we can always count on the fact that God is in control. He's always in control. He's always working behind the scenes of our life. We can't see him working. We might not know he's working, but he's working. That's why the hard times, we have to trust him. Because he knows about those times. It's not a shock to him when something happens in our life. Whether it seems like it's coming from something evil or good. He's still in control. Okay. So we have to trust him. Uh, I hope you take the time out to look at the Bible study today. I did copy and paste it. It is in the Song of uh, Solomon, which is all about his love for his bride and her love for him. And, you know, Christ is our husband. We are his bride, the church. And may we glean something from that today. I know he loves me. I know he loves me. He shows me how much he loves me. And it's times like yesterday that he even just shows out even more. And your faith is increased. And I thank him for it. And I pray that he will work in your life. And he's probably already working. You're just not. Sometimes we don't pay attention. 
And we just think some things are coincidences when they're actually God working, even if it is as small as someone ahead of you going into the store, opening the door and waiting for you to walk in. It can be something that simple where the Holy Spirit leads somebody to do something just for you. Try to be a blessing to somebody today. Tell them you love them. Tell them their eyes are pretty or their smile's beautiful. Um, spread the love of Christ. We would be so much better off if we would encourage others instead of try to pull them down or judge them. Um, and remember that if I'm not on here, there's a good reason for it. And I pray that you would just pray for me and encourage me. And that's what I told the person that sent me the, the email yesterday, that we should be encouraging each other, that I should be able to open an email and, and have sweet words of encouragement from my fellow believers in Christ and the people that watch my Bible study, not judgmental uh, um, things to say that pulls people down. That is not spreading the love of God. That is being prideful. Okay. So let's try to spread the love of God and be an encouragement to each other. Um, we're going to go to the Lord in prayer. And y'all pray that I have a good day in the kitchen and I get at least two things cooked for the show because I am super behind and it is the month of December. Um, and I will see you guys in the kitchen. Um, I'm not sure if that paper is online or not, but I'll look and see if it is. I'll show you a link. A lot of y'all been wanting to see Amy's ha Amy May's house, and I haven't given you a link for that either. So maybe I'll get to some of that tonight while I'm resting on the recliner and try to send some links in a post to you guys or something. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for your love and your goodness. We thank you for working for us for the main work that you did for us that just blows and should blow our minds each and every day when we get up is the fact that we belong to you the fact that you have adopted us through jesus christ our savior the fact that your love for us is immeasurable compared to our love lord um just that alone is enough for us to shout to the rooftops and the mountains about how much you love us. We thank you for that. Not only that, Lord, but you sent Jesus Christ here. And we've trusted in him as our personal savior. And because we've done that, Lord, you've also sent the Holy Spirit to be a part of our life and to live inside of us. We know we're a vessel and we know we belong to Jesus Christ. We know that the Holy Spirit helps us. May we be more aware to live in the spirit than in our flesh so that we could spread the kind of love that you would have us spread, Lord. Not ugly things and uh, negative and dark things, but love. I know that one of you've given us two main commandments and one is to love you with all of our heart and all of our mind and with our soul and everything in us. And the other one is to love our brother as much as we love ourselves. It's about love, Lord. And I know that you would have us spread love more than any other thing so that people would want to be a part of being a Christian and, and being a part of being in the family of God and we just thank you for it. And I thank you for working behind the scenes with Miss Ann Shepherd. What a blessing the fact that her hands were working on something just for us. And you knew, Lord, the day she would finish it. And you knew, Lord, the day she would put it in the mail. And you knew, Lord, the day that I would be the one. That's, I don't even normally go to the post office. And receive this package that said Royal Mail. And even if it's from the UK, Lord, the Royal in my heart was because of you. And I thank you for it. Be with each of us as we go throughout today. Help us be an encouragement. 
And we just thank you for loving us when we are just mere sinners and we're so unworthy. But we thank you for making us worthy because of your son's blood. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. And thanks so much for watching Real Southern Woman, where we love God and we're not ashamed to say it. I love you. Bye.